Hey guys, in today's video I want to cover the importance of the Hyundai's and the Kia's when it comes to the turnkeys, the flip keys like the remotes, and the standalone remotes. If a customer says, hey, I have this key or this car, can I get a remote or a flip key or some kind of situation like that? The main goal is we don't want to waste our time, their time, or inventory. So let's go ahead and kind of run through what we might encounter and how we can kind of problem solve that to be very fast and efficient. All the Hyundai's and Kia's that are turnkeys or flip keys or standalone remotes will take you 10 minutes or less, regardless of the situation, if you follow this kind of structured procedure. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and say a customer walks up for a Hyundai key, like a Hyundai Santa Fe or a, a Sonata or something like that. And they're like, hey, I have just this key from the dealership. I want a remote. So you don't want to upsell them and say, oh yeah, buy this because it's cool and everything. Don't do that. So what you want to do is look at your inventory, your guide, the presenter, and find out what is going to work for this. So with this key blade, a flip key option obviously is not going to work. So let's go ahead and put that back so the wind doesn't take it. So you want to do is maybe it's a remote like this. What does the presenter say? What does it say that's compatible for that vehicle based on its make, model, and year? So let's just go ahead and assume that this is a a Hyundai um, Santa Fe 2008. So we're going to go up here, click on here, and we're going to scroll down. The importance of these remotes is you're going to have a Type 1, Type 13, or a type 19 to program. So it's an old one. Let's go ahead and type one. And we put the key in there and connect and kind of go that route. If it connects when it programs, great. That's how we know. But what if it's not that one? What if it's not the Hyundai 061 type inventory? What if it's like a 72 or a four button and not a three button? So that's where we want to figure out what and how, but also not waste the customer's time. So that's where we're gonna use our paperwork. We would write the make, model, year, color, the location. We would write on here, hey, sir or miss, it's gonna be either this remote, we're gonna write that on here. So let's just put remote number one, or it might be this remote. And let's just say it's remote number two. And let's just say it's gonna be you know, 69 bucks, and this one's gonna be 89 bucks. They're gonna go, oh, well, what's the difference? I, hey, it's gonna be the, based on the frequency. So that's what we're gonna try. So I just need your name, number, and your signature. And then what we do is we go try. If it's this remote, it's gonna be one, one second at the vehicle, you press the lock button. If it's not this remote, it's gonna fail. You grab the other one, press the lock button. Cool, it's that one. You come back and you let them know, hey, it's gonna be this one. They're happy and you're done. Don't don't waste time trying to figure this out. And also you're keeping track of inventory. So we know it's number one. We can scratch this one off, have them go pay, and you're done. Simple. Now let's say it's gonna be something a little more complicated. Let's say they show up with a key like this. It's gonna be that center cut. So this is gonna be a non-transponder, of course, but it has a chip in there if you want to. That's like for a Lexus and things, but we can't use a flip key like this because it's offset. So for a Hyundai or Kia's, you want to make sure. So we look at this. This is going to be the key that you're going to use, but do not cut it first. Don't cut it. You're only going to program the remote. So again, if you have two remote options, obviously you need to understand these are two totally different keys. They will not work for the ignitions, not work for the doors, and they're totally different. Even though it has the SUV hatch, it will not work, it is different. But if you're, I'll just be blunt, if you're not smart enough, go the route of programming remotes. This one will get rejected, cool, but you're not wasting inventory. It's not gonna connect, put it back in its bag, put it back in its drawer, and you're good. Now you focus on this one. You follow procedure, and let's just say it's gonna be a 2016, so that'd be a type 19. Cool, connect, 
put the key in there. It's not gonna connect, obviously it's not plugged in, but you do that, you find out that this one works, cool. You let the customer know that, hey, it's gonna be this option, not that option, cool. Let them know the price difference, have them pay for that. We wanna have them know like, hey, we're gonna explore your vehicle. You have no remotes. Let's go ahead and figure out which one works for you. So at the end of this 10 minute process, we know which one works for you and you're all set. So that's where we kinda of wanna match the keys and explore. Sometimes you can have it, this type of combo. It could be this or it could be that. It just depends on what works for the vehicle. Sometimes if they just show up with this key, you can say, hey, it might be this or it might be this. Let's go ahead and see which one is accepted by the vehicle. Both won't, they're too different, but it's gonna be either this one or this one. That's where being clear and open with the customer will save you a lot of time. You go to the vehicle, you find out which one it is, cool. Then you come back. If this one connects, you let them know and then you cut it and you're good to go. So that's gonna be a really simple way. If we look at this other Hyundai key, see how it's offset? So it's gonna be a key, uh-oh, see how that is? It's not gonna work. So a key like this is gonna be using something like that, but not like that. So that's where you wanna pay attention. There's always gonna be extra key blades and kind of nonsense with the Hyundais and Kias. But as long as you program the remote first, you're not gonna lose inventory, you're not gonna damage inventory. But if you cut this first, and then you try to go stick in the ignition, it's not gonna work. It's not. And then if you try to program after, you're toast, you just lost inventory. So program your remote first, and then cut as needed, and then you're good. And this will take 10 minutes. Once you understand like how to check and how to program, you're looking at 10 minutes for finding out which remote works, and, and you're good. So that's gonna be a really simple way, and this is gonna work for this is gonna work for the Hyundais, and it's gonna work for the Kias. So go ahead and take note of that, and I'll do my best. Uh, check out the links below. I'll put a description, or check out the description below. I'll put links for another video when it comes to the Hyundais and Kias. Uh, so a little more information if need, in case I miss something on this. Other than that, have a great day, and see you next time. See ya, bye.